All right, gang. It's Friday afternoon. Shit week at work. I made a little bit of progress on this tin today. It's gonna go into a little bit of detail. The sun's going down. Finally, starting to go down early. This shed is a couple of uh, packing frames from a local factory that I just turned upside down, one on top of the other, and tacked them together and put a few chain welds on. This is the bottom of it. Flipped upside down. Anyway, and then there's another one down here turned. I'm not sure what they were doing with these openings here, but I made it them up. We're gonna make a door over on this side out of this opening. Get my ass out of here. But these two members, they're here. Where those white lines are. I'm gonna cut those out to keep from banging my head because this thing's only like seven plus. Seven plus foot by seven plus foot by seven plus foot. It makes like a little cube. I had to add I 13 or so inches on here. I did the math. I didn't include you guys on that shit. I figured if you was watching this channel, you really didn't care. And, start getting into too many specifics it gets boring but uh i wanted a uh, overhang at this old work table i want to overhang on this side so i can stand out here and not be beat to death by the sun and then on this side have a shorty overhang for whatever right now it's a home for this old snapper uh, <clears throat> Been putting a tin on, like I said, I use two by fours for backing strips. Just drill holes, run some uh, quarter inch hot dip galvanized bolts through there. Tighten those up, no locks, no bullshit. Just put the boards on and run them down there, carriage bolts. So, you know, they grip themselves. Uh, take your tin. I took a punch set the holes started the screws overlapped them from uh, windward side back so air wouldn't get on them or rain wouldn't blow into them a couple of drums there from that same factory uh this is gonna be a pretty sturdy tool locker this is the back side here it's very plain this no real detail here. Uh, I gotta figure out some corner flashing. I may have to actually buy that from Lowe's or whatever. Home Depot, whoever's got the shit. Um, I gotta hurry up. I'm gonna try to get this thing done this weekend. And I can attack this cluster. For everybody that does a shop build Eat your hearts out. Anyway, we still haven't done anything with the damn spare. The smithy's still in shit shape. There are no pavers on the ground. As soon as I get this building done, that's phase one. I gotta get it done. Then I gotta move this 3,900 pound beast more centered over, move this corner over to here. So it'll be under the shelter and not in the rain so anyway that's the plan for the weekend get those boards put on tin hung make some effort to get this door cut down and put 
put into that space right there. Challenge accepted. Mow damn it. Tire Creek Ironworks out.